Shopify Facebook Pixel Setup Full Integration Tutorial Step-by-Step -step 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope all of you are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking about Shopify yet again and how you can set up Facebook Pixel and fully integrate it with your Shopify. Now it's going to be really simple and it's going to be really easy so please do make sure to watch this video till the end and gain all the knowledge you can about Shopify and how you're going to set everything up. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Okay. Now, first of all, what you're going to want to do is like, let me tell you the things you're going to need for this. Okay. First of all, obviously you're going to need to have a Shopify account. That's like without saying then secondly you're going to need to have a facebook account it could be a personal it could be a commercial anything just a facebook account thirdly you're going to need to have a meta business account okay fourth you're going to need to have a facebook page for yourself fifth you're going to need to have an adsense or a normal ad account sixth you're going to need to have facebook pixel obviously and then seventh and finally you're going to need to have the official meta app on the shopify store so if you were to go through it all again, number one, Shopify account, number two, Facebook account, number three, Meta business account, number four, Facebook page, number five, AdSense account, number six, Facebook pixel, and number seven, official Meta app on Shopify. So now that we know what we actually need and we know, you know, what to go ahead with, let's get started and straight into all the technicalities. Okay. So firstly, what we're going to do is obviously we're going to go ahead and uh, log in to our, you know, Shopify. Now you can go ahead and like I'll assume that you already have an account. That's why I'm not going to show you the whole setup process. So to log in, just obviously go here. And once you're going to go here, you're going to find your store. OK, once you do, you're going to get into it. As you can see, here's my store. Now, once you get into it, obviously, you're going to have your basic dashboard interface that I'm pretty sure I assume that you know how to use this now once you're over here okay what you're gonna do is you're gonna basically one side open this and the other tab like you're gonna go in a new tab and you're gonna open meta okay meta account you're gonna create an account for meta you're gonna just write meta create account or something like that okay once you do that as you can see it takes you to the login and access meta business suite so you're going to come here on the meta business suite and once you come here obviously it's going to give you options let's get started with meta business tools from meta okay so obviously as it says login with your facebook so as i told you you're going to need to have a facebook account for yourself this is absolutely compulsory you cannot create a meta business suite account for yourself if you don't have a facebook so enter all of that, enter your ID for Facebook. And once you do that, you're going to click on login. And once you click on login, obviously it's going to log you into the meta business suite very easily. Like there you are. So then it's going to, you know, confirm that it's you just make sure to confirm yourself, you know, secure your login details and everything. And um, once everything is obviously done, yeah, you're going to be essentially good to go from there. So let's let me just, um, you know, quickly do this and let me get back to you. And once you're done with that and you're fully signed up, obviously, it's going to take you in to the Meta Business Suite where it's going to give you all these different business settings that you can choose from. OK, you have the different users that you can access. You have different, um, you know, business suite stuff that you can mess around with. You have different users and people that you can talk about with other people. Okay. You have the account access, you have the data support access and you know, much more. So pretty basic stuff. And as you can see with meta business suite or meta business manager, you'll be able to oversee all of your pages, accounts and business assets in one place, easily create and manage ads for all your accounts and track what's working best with your performance insights. Okay. Now what you're going to do, like once you have created all this, you're going to go to the pages section and you're obviously going to create a proper local business page for yourself. And once you go on creating a business page, you're going to, you know, choose a brand or product. And once you do that, basically in that case, you're just making a pixel setup, you know? So once you create a page, you're going to go to your ad accounts when it comes to meta business suite. And once you go on ad accounts, you're going to create an ad account. Okay. 
And once you've created an ad account, finally, you're going to go to data sources. Okay. Now just follow what I'm saying, go to data sources. Okay. You're going to get an option where it says pixels and wherever it says pixels, what you're going to do is you're going to access that add a random pixel name for yourself. Okay. And once you've added a pixel name, you're going to obviously go ahead and set up the pixel for yourself. It's going to be embedded code. You're going to manually add a partner. Okay. They're going to ask you a partner for your pixel. That's where you're going to choose Shopify. Okay. And then it's going to ask you to connect your Shopify account to your meta. Okay. And you know, that's pretty easy. Just go ahead into Shopify. Okay. And once you go to Shopify, you're going to go to online store. You're going to go to preferences. And once you have gone to preferences, you're going to come down here where it says Facebook pixel, connect your pixel with the Facebook app. The app ensures proper setup while enabling advanced tracking options and other features that help you target new and existing customers. So you're going to click on setup Facebook and here they're going to give you this Facebook and Instagram free to install additional charges may apply. Click on add app. And once you click on add app, you're going to choose the account and store that you want to set it up with. And once you do that, obviously it's going to finalize everything. And once all of that is done, it's going to ask you to install it and stuff. So you're going to click on add sales channel. And once you do that, as you can see, it adds the sales channel for you in the admin shop. Now, once that is done, like once you know, you're good to go with all of that, what you're going to do from there, here you have it, Facebook and Instagram, you're going to see start selling on Facebook and Instagram, start setting up a shop. It's totally free and only takes a few minutes once it's been approved and you've added products to, you know, your catalog, one shop, more ways to be discovered, offer a seamless checkout experience, join a vibrant community of merchants and creators. And, you know, you can just go ahead and start your setup. Now to start your setup, first of all, as I stated, you're going to connect your Facebook account to this. Okay. And to connect your Facebook account, same thing, add your password. Okay. Verify it to them that it's actually you log in and once the whole verification process is done it's going to ask you your you know main business assets as so and uh, just go ahead add the password as many times as it wants you to you know like it's pretty simple stuff as you can see pretty simple login pretty simple data analysis and stuff and once you've done that click on login and once you do that, obviously, it's going to connect the accounts. It's going to log your Facebook into the Facebook pixel, and then it's going to integrate it with your Shopify. Then it's going to ask you for, you know, different types of, um, you know, things. So once you've connected your Facebook account, then comes your business assets. And this is why I asked you to create, you know, an ad account. And once you create the ad account, then comes, uh, you know, the data sharing in business assets. And in the data sharing, obviously, you're going to choose the pixel that you created. Okay. The data sharing that I made you create. So you're going to choose that. And once you have chosen that and done with that, you're going to meet with their terms and conditions. You're going to submit it for review where it says over here. And obviously then once you've submitted it for review, you're going to wait for it to, you know, fully review your application. And once it's properly reviewed your application, we're just going to wait for it to, you know, give us the go, give us the access. And once we are done with that, yeah, essentially, I'd say we're pretty much good to go from there. So pretty easy stuff, pretty basic stuff. Now, basically, that's, I guess, about it. If you found this video helpful and informational, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please let me know down in the comments below and I will make more for you. And if I left anything out or if you have any issue with this video, please let me know down in the comments below and I will obviously uh, fix that issue for you straight away. And yeah, that's essentially about it. Now, uh, thank you for watching this video till the end. That was all from me, and I will be seeing all of you next time. Goodbye.